Hi Year 12s, this is Mr. Lim again. This is uh, video number 7 and it's finally going on to aldehydes and structural nomenclature. Okay, these are the things we're going to be learning. You can write this down. Okay, so aldehydes. Let's have a think. Aldehydes are organic substances made up of CH and O. They have a CHO functional group in them. And what does this CHO functional group look like? It looks like this. Okay, with a carbon double bonded to an oxygen. There's a couple of non-bonding pairs there. And uh, that carbon also bonded to a hydrogen, and then that carbon bonded to the rest of the carbon chain. Now, if you remember, these aldehydes are made from primary, the oxidation of primary alcohols. And primary alcohols are always on the ends. They're on terminal carbons. Okay, so where will you find aldehydes? On terminal carbons. Why will you find aldehydes on terminal carbons? Because of the bonding capacity of carbon. Carbon can only have four. Uh, bonds coming out of it. There's two there. There's one there and so therefore there's only one left to bond to the rest of the chain All right, so um, Again, you can only find these on the end of hydrocarbons because of the bonding capacity. All right So let's move on. Uh, what do we got? So naming an aldehyde can be done by adding the suffix to the base hydrocarbon name that suffix is L All right, so you have things like propanel. So propan three single bonds It's propanel. So there's your aldehyde group Okay, and then you'd add in all your other hydrogens in there um, just to make sure that you're drawing this correctly. All right, octandiol. Okay, so octan, that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now this is a diol, which means that it's got two aldehyde groups on it. All right, so what does that look like? Well, They'll be on the ends, and they'll look like that. Okay, two aldehyde groups on there. Uh, don't forget all the hydrogens in there. Um, do I need to give you the position of these uh, aldehyde groups? No, because they're going to be on the ends. They're always going to be on the ends, and so therefore they don't need to uh, be numbered to say why. Okay, three methyl pentanal. Let's try that as a, a condensed structural formula. Okay, so. Condensed structural formula, we just show all of the atoms in their order. 3 methyl pentanal. so I'm just drawing the penton group, so that's the carbon chain. I recognize that the third carbon has a methyl group, so that's what it'll look like. All right, the fourth carbon, and then the fifth carbon has the CHO. When we're writing uh, aldehydes in condensed structural formula, we generally make the uh, aldehyde group on the right-hand side so that you can write a nice CHO and it's nice and easy to, um, to write. Okay, let's move on. Uh, so the position of the aldehyde functional group is generally not shown. Why? Because they're only going to be found on the ends. All right, so, but if we did have to number it, these is the, this is the order in which you have priority in terms of being able to... Um, put the, uh, num the lowest number. So because carboxylic acids and aldehydes are on the ends or on terminal carbons, they get the priority of numbering. Hi, Mrs. Weston. Okay, so the those get the priority in numbering. The others, they just have to work out where they are and that's fine. All right, so let's have a look at a couple of examples. Okay, um, aldehydes, this one here, let's say C, it's four long. Okay, so it's a butan okay it's got an aldehyde group there and so therefore it's butanal do I need to give the position no it's on the end uh, it's going to be on the one carbon okay let's have a look at the next one oh it's got an alcohol group and an aldehyde group okay it's five long so it's a pentan pentan okay so we need to give the position of the alcohol group as well as the aldehyde group. We're going to give the position of the aldehyde group as a suffix, which means that it's a pentanel, and we know that it's going to be a one pentanel because uh, it's a higher priority than the uh, the um, the alcohol and it's on and it's always going to be on the end. And then the alcohol group, where is that? That's going to be on the second carbon because that carbon gets to be number one and that carbon's number two. So it's going to be a 2-hydroxy pentanel. Remember, hydroxy is the prefix for an alcohol group. Okay. Uh, and then finally, this one here. Now, this has got your aldehyde group, nice and easy, but ooh, look, something special. It's got a double bond in it. Okay. 
Now, if you remember, the aldehyde group gets priority over the double bond in terms of numbering. Okay, so the aldehyde group means that that one is the number one. It's seven long, so it's a hept. Uh, it's an ene, and where is that ene? It's in the number two position. Okay, it's in the number two carbon position. So it's hep two ene. And, well, it's not going to be an ene, it's going to be an al. Okay. Hept two ene al, or you could give it two heptanel. Right, and that's it for this naming of aldehydes. Adios.